All right, we're going to talk about now proving the theorem if both pairs of opposite angles of a quadrilateral are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. This is the converse. Again, before, remember, we have if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then we prove that the opposite angles were congruent. Well, in this case right here, we start off, we go to the quadrilateral with the angles, uh, opposite angles are congruent, and we're going to prove that they're parallel. And the easiest way to do this is that we know that if A plus B is 180 degrees, then these two lines right here are parallel. And if we know that B plus C equals 180 degrees, then we know that this line and this line are parallel, and therefore it is a parallelogram because that's what essentially the definition of a parallelogram is. So again, we just put down the given. The next thing is we know that the sum... If I add all of these angles, A, B, C, D, together, I should get 360 degrees. And we know that because the sum of the, the angles of the quadrilateral is 360 degrees. We also remember the little formula of N minus 2 times 180. Uh, so if I put 4 in here for N, which is the number of sides, minus 2, that's t t 2 times 180, is 360. All right. Next, I go down here, and now I'm going to substitute. So I have this originally. So... I have, if, uh, so I have A plus B, all right, so that's fine. And then I just repeat again, so since the C was an A and the, excuse me, then the, uh, the D was a B, I just substitute those in for, for this step right here. Likewise, if I went down here, I'll start with this right here where I'll substitute the C in for there and then the uh, B... The, the B will be there, and then the, I'll substitute the, uh, instead of the, uh, the D, I'll put the uh, B in. And I'll come up with this right here. And if I combine the like terms, add them all together, of course, what, what that means, I'll end up with two A's, angle A's, plus two angle B's is 360 degrees. And that's either, I put, you can either put addition, simplification, or combine like terms. Any of those are satisfactory. All right, and then again here. So now I've got two of these plus two of those will equal 360 degrees, and two of those plus two of those will equal 360 degrees. Now, if I divide, if I divide both sides by two, I'll end up with angle A plus B equals 180 degrees, and angle C plus B equals 180 degrees, which is exactly where we wanted to go because we remember the theorem if we have consecutive interior angles, these are consecutive interior angles, all right, uh, interior angles that are, are supplementary, in other words, they're equal to 180 degrees, then the lines are parallel. So that proves the converse that we had just started off here. So now if we know that the opposite angles of quadrilateral are congruent, then is the quadrilateral has got to be a parallel. Thank you.